Welcome back, everybody, to Subnautica. And I know it was a bit of a drop off there, but something came up and I had to leave. But now I'm back and welcome. Got my Jelly Ray egg, and I got lots of lithium, which I'm gonna put in here. Now I, I believe I left off, and we had the two diamonds needed to make the laser cutter, which I need a battery and a cave sulfur, so two copper or one copper and two acid mushrooms. I did a bit of organizing here, so I got titanium, and I got titanium. I'm just going to slap those two in there. Then here I got everything else. Probably going to take that and that, and I'm going to need some more acid mushrooms. Now we can go up, can make the battery. Now, can we make it? What are you missing? Oh, we're missing the one titanium. Well, of course. Come on. A little glitchy with opening that. Although, it's one of the only problems I have with those things. And then, do, do, and laser cutter! Do, bum, ba, da, 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 da. Now, it's very nice because it'll allow me to get into other places places otherwise inaccessible. Next, to the, make the habitat builder, I need the computer chip, the wiring kit, and the battery. So, I'm just going to drop the acid mushrooms in there, and then that, and all of this, and that. Actually, I'm going to need the silver. I'm going to need gold. I'm going to need two copper. Oh, whoop to do Copper. Gonna need two tape of coral. I think that's it. The reason I needed all that stuff is one, because I need to make the computer chip, which requires copper wire, table coral, and gold. That's two copper to make the, the copper wire, which is self-explanatory, and the computer chip. Now here, advanced wiring kit. I believe I needed the habitat builder. Now I just need a battery, which is two copper and, or a copper and two acid mushrooms. I do not have a copper. That is very surprising. Well, we back in the mines. The meme is coming back, ladies and gentlemen. Call it here now, it's gonna come back. Gonna go find the cave entrance. I can remember where. It's always fun weaving in between these things. Don't know why. I've always particularly enjoyed it. You may not share my, share my sentiment. However, oh, that means I have a new radio message on the side of my screen there. Ah, here's what I was looking for. The entrance into this cave. That's what that thing looks like coming out. Any limestone outcrops for me? Anything? Nope. Oh, there's one. Copper? Oh, no, just titanium. That was sad. There we go. Now uh, that I just have this open. Any limestone outcrafts waiting for me? Oh, saw one there. There it is. Ooh, my copper. Now that, I believe, is this scuttlebug. I believe is what those are called. Again, personal favorite creature. And hopefully I can add her pretty soon. Just need to scramble over to the island, which I hope I can show you guys today. Got all this stuff. Ah, yes, I needed the two acid mushrooms. And drop the egg in there. And voila, one battery. Now I can go down to personal tools and... What am I missing now? 
Oh, the stuff I put away. Oh, it's down here. Whoops. Mobby, guys. Mobby. Oh, keep missing up. Keep missing the buttons I'm trying to press. And voila. We have the Habitat Builder. Now, I believe these are the only tools that I'm going to need for a while. So, I'm just going to put the Habitat Builder in there. Keep those things. I'm going to drop the titanium. Eat that. Eat that. Or drink that. More to the point. And voila. Now, if I head off in this direction. If I can get all the stuff off. Anything there waiting for me? No. If I head off in this direction, I'll find the debris field, which is where I'm going to cut open my way to the door and get everything else I have been missing. And I'll get that on my way back. So I'm going to grab some creep fine samples to make some fiber mesh, which I forget what that makes, but it's I know it's something I'm going to need. Now, I wonder what this is. I honestly have no idea. That might be the jelly ray, which is something I highly doubt. Although it is very possible. Now I'm just going to dip my way back up to the surface to get fill up my action. And then I'm going to head down and finish exploring the crashed part of the ship. And down we go. Now I believe I showed you the entrance is on this side of the wreck. There's two, three entrances here. You got uh, one somewhere here. Question mark. Then you got the one up there, and there's a hole in the wall over there. For some reason, every time you leave or save the game, then this thing is going to close back up again. Yeah, I'm just going to go over to the laser and cut it open. Voila. As you can see, animation. And if you look and you just hold it out like this, you'll s oh, I guess they patched it. it. Used to look like it was cutting it, but it wasn't actually cutting it. You can see the ball of water heating up around it, then instantly cooling. And as you cut it open, the piece will fall out, and you can walk right through as if it was never there in the first place. Ah, more propulsion cannons. Very useful tool. And another one, which is free titanium for me. I know you may see, oh, I don't need the titanium. Trust me, you're going to need it at one point or another. And here's where you can grab this data box, which will automatically unlock some form of blueprint. Now, that one leaps down, but I'm just going to dip out real quick and go fill up my oxygen level again. Whoop. I used to be very careless about that. And I regret it now because I have died multiple times. You're like, oh, I got plenty of time. No, you do not. Trust me. You may think you do, and you may at some places, but always better to be careful than to be dead. It's my motto in playing this game. I believe it's a good motto to follow. Just gonna swoop right in here and go all the way down. Aha, here it is. More propulsion can, which is again free titanium. Again, free titanium. Always gotta get that titanium. Ooh, battery charger. Now, this is a nice thing because instead of having to make new batteries all the time, what you can do is you can just put them in this and they'll charge over time by consuming power from whatever you're in. Oh, floodlight. Battery charger fragment, hiding right there. And a data box again. What's this one got for me? Vehicle upgrade console. Now that's a good one to grab, as you will need it eventually. And it's very annoying to scan, so it's nice that I got it in the data box already. Now I believe that's all there is to this debris. And it's probably going to head back now. And... I'm going to go silent here for a second. Oh, battery fell out, so I'm going to quickly unload it. 
You can unload the battery, and then re- Oh, that is the wrong battery. Reload into this, and voila. That's why you need the battery charger. Because otherwise you're just going to have to create making batteries, and soon you have an entire locker full of empty batteries that you have no use for. Also, a bit of a cool thing, you can propel yourself faster, but if you get it just right, you will not consume oxygen. Or if you do, it'll be very minimal, but you'll still move at twice the pace. It's a very nice thing that I found, as it allows you to get places faster than you would otherwise. And here, I'm actually going to... Is it going to let me... Oh, there we go. And I'm just going to grab that, as when I head back, I'm going to make some fiber mesh, which makes something, don't exactly remember which, something it makes, but we'll figure it out eventually. It's gonna go right up here, and make the fiber mesh, because if you have rotten creep fine samples, then it will not craft, which is something accurate, but not necessarily necessary. Or at least that's how I personally feel. You can uh, feel whatever you want. I'm gonna drop that and that in there. Now, do I have any spare silver? I need two of them. I do not. Oh well, you don't really need it for that part of the game. Now, unfortunately, I did not find enough lead to make a radiation suit. But, I'm still gonna go exploring in that area so I can show you guys it. I'm just gonna store away my titanium. As you can see, I have a very nice collection growing. Oh. I always do that, and it's very annoying. Gotta go down a little bit first. I'm gonna drop that in there. And then drop this in there. And then I'll guess I'm just gonna drop the rest here. Do, 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 do. I think that's all I'm gonna need. Question mark. I think that's all I'm gonna need. And now this is the one place. Yep. That this is the one time that I'm gonna show you guys this. But warning: if you do die, then you'll keep all of your stuff in your inventory, uh, such as tools and whatnot. However, you will not keep your resources. I think I'm heading in the right direction here. Just to be sure. Yep. Now, until I get a radiation suit, I'm probably not going to be able to go too far before I start dying, which is a very bad process. I hope you never have to go through it until it's your last days. Then I hope you go through it peacefully. Lots of later cut laser cutters this time. Don't know why, but they seem to be spawning a lot more often now. Gotta grab that. Anything new for me? No. Oh. Anything? Oh, oh. Nuclear waste. Now this you can use to dispose of nuclear rods. Which are very annoying to get rid of, because if you drop them, they'll pollute the water. And that makes it very hard to live in. Ah, Reginald, there you are. I wanted to scan you earlier. Oh. Something bit me. Not entirely sure what. I think that is where I'm going to end off the episode, guys. Again, not going to finish it up here. Probably going to finish it up farther on. But I hope y'all have a good day. And I'll see you guys later.